do is he will try to put fear in your life not to go to the gym. Why? Because you think that when you start off, you should look like this. But let me tell you today, you don't change in a day, you change daily. Somebody shout hallelujah. So put it on the enemy to use fear as a tactic in your life not to go to the gymnasium. Because all of us in our lives, we've got to go to the gym. But Paul was telling uh, Timothy, he says, man, you got to get the fear out of your life. He says, well, I'm not giving you a spirit of fear, but he says, what? I'm giving you power. The only way that you can get power in your life, the only way that you can get muscles in your life is you got to start lifting some weights. Say, lift some weights. And so God begins to deal with each and every one of us in our life. He says, you got to lift some weights. He, he's telling Timothy, he says, I can give you fear. In verse 7, he says, I give you power. He says, I give you a sound what? So listen at this. In order to finish strong, if you want to get big, you have to pick up something heavy. You hear me? If you want to get big, you have to pick up something heavy. If you only lift what you can handle, you will never get the results you desire. Uh, that, that's the crux of my message today. If you only live what you can handle, you will never get the results that you desire. I, I mean, you want to look like this. You, you, you want to feel like this. Some of us are intimidated. Uh, and, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. That we're intimidated to go into the gym. Why? Because you hear people talk some like, ah. You, you hear people making sounds, and you say, do I have to do all of that in order to look like that? I don't want to make them sounds. Ah, you, you, you hear the bar hit the rhyme. I mean, it's frustrating at times in life because, uh, uh, because, because in your life, in your life, you look like this. And so you say, how can I ever look like them? And I live like this. Well, let me tell you, you will never get to the point of what you desire if you stay in a place of fear. So God is changing us. He says, there's something new. There's something that I got to do. Lord, I thank God I'm not a woman. Lord, I'm going to get a woman for and so God begins to speak to us. He says, I give you a sound mind. The first thing that you got to understand in life. For some of you, the bar of life is really heavy. Let, let me share with you. The bar of life is really heavy in your life. Listen, you will never get to the potential of what God desires for you to have when you continue to only lift the bar. And so